It's day 14 of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The war-hit country is left bruised, battered after relentless Russian attacks. Its capital, Kiev, is under siege as Russian soldiers inch closer to its top target. Efforts are being made to evacuate suburban areas of Kiev. As heavy shelling continues to rock Ukrainian skies in Kiev suburb Irpin, a bridge has been damaged and people still trying to cross the bridge in order to flee from the town. In Kiev, Kharkiv and Vinnytsia, air alarms were sounded while northern eastern city of Ukraine, Sumy, was left in shambles. Ukraine claims that the Russian bombardment claimed over 21 lives, including that of three children. People in Kherson gathered to protest against the Russian invasion as hundreds of citizens took to the streets. Meanwhile, Russia has announced another humanitarian. An air raid siren over Kyiv. Yet again, we're in the heart of Kyiv. And you can look around the air raid sirens. Once again, people are being asked to rush to evacuate vehicles. Uh, security asking vehicles to get off the road. But these air raid sirens, despite Russia saying that there will be no action um, enters, the air raid sirens continue to go off. Of course, there have been air attacks and missile attacks in some other areas. But right now, air raid sirens in the heart of Kiev on the 14th day of war, it appears to be a cause for concern. Gaurav Savant in Kiev, Ukraine for India Today. Meanwhile, India Today contributor Serhii Mirankov has been reporting relentlessly from Kyiv. 14 days on, Russia has not been able to move closer. Here's what an emotional Serhii told earlier. Serhi, we just spoke to that Ukrainian member of parliament, Oleksiy, who's on his way, you know, for some kind of a territorial defense mission. He was in a car, you know, full of soldiers heading to, you know, probably a check post, not wanting to give out too many details. Obviously, that's totally understandable. But is that is that something you're seeing happening today, Oleksiy? A lot of these territorial defense units getting out onto the streets going on real missions now it's no longer just about training it's actual missions you're seeing now their missions uh 24 7 24 hours mm. seven days all the time uh kiev right now is like is like a castle uh with lots of block posts with lots of uh people around who are working working together and they don't don't get about their occupation they're just Taking guns, they are t t t taking everything they, they can. They are organizing by themselves. They are communicating. They are searching for information. They are checking the information. They are helping to poor people. They do lots of things, humanitarian things, military things, assisting things. A lot of it. And uh, I just want to mention that to Alex's previous wars, more than 50 children become a victim of this Putin invasion. 50 children. Mm. They died. They died because one guy decided that he thinks better than others. I, I watching the images right now that you showed. I hear the bombs near to my car, and I just imagining uh, India, Navi Mumbai, Mumbai, Chandigarh, Goa, all this region where people feeling them sa safe and feeling proud of their country. Hmm. But suddenly, someone's coming and said, no, you're wrong. You must be free, free from your mind. And India is a big, great country with uh, enormous, enormous voices uh, in the OON. Yes. NATO also can listen to you. So please, push on NATO, push on your partners, support Ukraine, because tomorrow we don't know where he turned his guns where his aircraft will fly to Asia, to USA, to Europe, we don't know, to Australia. We must stop him right now. Stop Russia, make Russian people, Russian citizens free from the crazy guy who uh, for more than 20 years in its authority for them is not. I know many people in Russia, they're good people, but most of them right now don't know what to do. They are in information block in, in, in information strikes. They are not know the truth. We can't show them the truth. They don't want to hear about the truth. And Indians, please uh, be with Ukrainians. Lots of us, lots of you in Ukraine. I know many of you. You know probably you, 
you, someone knows me for this moment. So please be with us, stay with us and ask your parliament, ask your prime minister to help Ukraine, to help our president for the whole free world, for the whole humanity, that never again this could happen in this century, in this in this time of our lives. Thank you. Serhi, please stay safe, my friend. I hear your voice and I, I just wanted to tell you that your voice, every, every word you say is going out to millions of Indians right now. You know, we all know what's happening. We all know what you're feeling right now. We all know what Ukrainians are feeling right now. So we will continue to put your voices on air and I can guarantee you that the most number of Indians watching India today are hearing your voice, they're tuning in and they feel what you're feeling right now. Thank you, Sari. Alexi, thank you for being with India today. Uh, uh, Alexi, are, 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 you, are you in a shelter? Are you in a bunker right now? Sure, I'm in sure. the car uh, coming for some, on some mission. I'm a member of Territorial Defense and now we're coming for some mission. Okay, uh, you're, you're, you are on a Territorial Defense mission right now? Yes, I am on the car moving to to the starting point. Okay, just uh, obviously you can't give me too many details about that because it's sensitive. But just tell me what's happening right now in Kiev, Oleksii. Uh, uh, you know, we've seen all these attacks taking place. Our reporters have been there to cover the shelling that has taken place in the cities around Kiev, the towns around Kiev. What are you preparing for? What do you see happening next? Russia is trying to continue their assault on Ukraine and Kiev is their primarily goal. But for the moment, they couldn't uh, move ahead uh, just one inch. So because our army is uh, fighting them and fighting and doing it absolutely mm, fantastically. And now they have just big losses. Mm -hmm. But we understand that probably there will be new attempts to attack Kiev, Kharkiv other cities uh, so we are prepared what do you think is going to happen next in kiev uh, Oleksii? do you think that they will be moving in uh, there is a sense on the ground that you know with the with the cities around kiev and near kiev uh, you know being attacked in this manner the next step will be to enter kiev itself they will try to encircle Kiev. That's what is uh, from what they want yes. to start to encircle Kiev, and then after this to attack Kiev. But for the moment they couldn't, and I am sure that at this time also they will not be successful uh, because uh, we know what we are doing and what we are defending our homes, and their soldiers just can't understand what they are doing here. So their morale is low, our morale is high. And if even to imagine that they will penetrate to Kiev, here our territorial defense, civil and militia will meet them. It's tens of thousands of people like, like me. Do you have a military background? Can you tell us a little bit more about how you've been trained in the use of that weapon? Uh, I don't have a military experience. Uh, we were trained, probably it's right to say trained a little. But mm -hmm. with time, because every day we have a little time to do more. Are you with other uh, territorial defense people who've also signed up? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. So there are so. Oh, so there are other people. Can you just show us around? Can Can you just show us who else is there? We just want to see what it looks like. You're on your way in a car right now. If we could just see that, Alexi. I showed you. Yeah, yeah. That's that. The, uh, you know, we, we, it, it's it's very useful to our viewers to be able to see what's happening. Uh, uh, you know, uh, obviously, we don't want to give out your location or where you're headed to right now. But correct me if I'm wrong, Oleksi. You're armed. You're sitting with uh, you know some soldiers and people who have been trained as well. You, are you going somewhere to stand guard? You're going there to actually stand guard somewhere at a check post or something? We have a mission. I can't tell you what what exact mission we have. Fair enough. Coming to this, and I'm not in bunker again because there was a line in on your on the screen. Hmm. I'm not in bunker. I'm in the car. Got it. Got it. You're not in. A, you're not in a bunker. You're in. You're, uh, we've just changed that. I'm sorry. I misheard you. So you're in a car. You're headed towards a mission. You can't reveal what that mission is. Totally fair. I completely understand that. What about NATO, Alexi? 
You know, you've heard what they've done today. Poland has offered some fighter planes. The, the United States has said, we can't do this. It doesn't work like this. NATO has not answered your request for a no-fly zone. You've said that NATO is playing games. What do you think about what's happening in Poland, Germany and NATO right now? I think we will receive these planes. And uh, already Poland is giving them to uh, United States and we will receive them from United States. I'm sure about this. And we will do everything ourselves. We don't ask for boots on the ground. We don't ask for Western pilots in our skies. Hmm. We just ask for weapons to help us and we will do everything ourselves. And we are fighting not just for ourselves, but we are fighting for the whole free world. Because what Putin is doing is fighting against all free countries, all democratic countries. So if in, like India is a democratic country, so that's a fight of Putin against you too. Because they said a fight of dictators against free world.